Hi, in this tutorial we are going to get to, to retrieve information about a space station, about uh, its uh, location. We are going to get the longitude and the latitude and draw a dots and basically the whole route on the, uh, the map. So uh, we are going to start with uh, creating a, a Conda environment. So it's, uh, we are going to, to call the environment a plot and we are going to use Python 3.8. This is uh, the first uh, phase and of course we are going to, to activate it. So you can see that uh, our current environment is uh, called plot. Then we are going to install um, a Python library called platly. So this is the command conda install a minus C platly platly. And we're going to, to wait a little bit until the whole installation is finished. Next step, we are going to install uh, Pandas. This Python library will help us to build a data frame and reorder the information according to our needs. Okay, next phase, uh, we are going to open our IDE. I'm using a visual code. So now we will uh, uh, do some uh, coding. We will uh, create next uh, a new folder. I will call it a plot space, plot spaceship. Next, uh, we are going to, to create a, a new Python file. We'll call it a plot spaceship.py. I will upload uh, this uh, file to my GitHub. Uh, of course, I will going to leave uh, a link in this uh, video. Please follow uh, this URL. Uh, you can see, you can find here an uh, open uh, API for the latitude and longitude of the International uh, space Spaceship. Uh, it's a, a free API that uh, if we uh, click and copy uh, this API on a, on a browser, you can see the, the outcome, the latitude, the longitude and the timestamp. The header of this Python file will have all the information to, to continue this uh, process. Next step is uh, import pandas. You can see that there is a yellow line uh, underneath the, the pandas, so we we'll select the right uh, a Python interpreter. We called it, uh, we name it plot. So we, we will choose uh, the, the plot uh, conda environment in order to continue. We will import some uh, Python uh, environments, the pandas, the plotly, and time. And the next command is in order to, to read and to activate the, the API. Uh, it's a pandas uh, command, read JSON, and then um, the argument is the, the URL address. Let's uh, print uh, the outcome and we will uh, run uh, the API. You can see that we have two lines, the latitude, the, the longitude, and uh, we have the, the values. Please notice that we have another uh, another information which is the timestamp. Next we are going to extract 
the latitude and the longitude using uh, pandas uh, commands. Now we're going to, to extract the, the timestamp. And both, both rows has, of course, the same timestamp. And now we are going to print this uh, free argument just to, to debug that everything is okay. Now we'll uh, define a new uh, variable, we call it data, and it will have the three values together. We will uh, create uh, uh, an array and we'll append this data into this uh, array. Uh, next we are going to, to create a, a, a map, a map object and uh, we are going to uh, use the pandas uh, data frame uh, function in order to convert the array to, to data frame and uh, this data frame will be projected on the, the map object using the, the plotly, the, the plotly uh, python library before project it on the map we will uh, print it just to the debug that everything is uh, okay and then continue to the to the last phase as i said earlier the last phase is creating a a, a scatter a, a map a geographical map uh, object uh, this object will uh, receive the the previous data frame and project it on the map of course since we have only a, a one value uh, we will see a dot on the on the map so this dot is the the current location of the international spaceship so what we are going to do next we are going to do a loop to run uh, several iterations and to re retrieve the information every 10 seconds and then it will give us the ability to draw a full line basically it's a, a list of dots and to draw a full line or in in order to see the location of the spaceship during a, a half an hour so we will do a 500 iterations it will be a numerator and every 10 seconds we are going to activate the API, get the values, put it uh, inside a, a, a list, an, an array list, convert it to a data frame, and then project the data frame on the map. So you can follow the, the coding and of course uh, to see the, the final result. Please notice that everything is inside the loop and each time we retrieve the information we create in this uh, data, data object and we are doing the, the append, running the append function in order to create list of data. Basically this list of data array will have 500 values and these 500 values will be passed or first of all transform to a data frame and then will be passed to the to the graph uh, object
you can see here every iteration this is the first one the second one um, I will do a, a fast forward the process in order to to run uh, directly to the to the last to the last step as I said there are a 500 uh, uh, activations of the the API so we are going directly to to the last phase and you can see how it's uh, uh, the line is drawn and in all the the location of the spaceship during the the last uh, half an hour so that's it thank you very much